Faith was my everything. She was my mother figure, my sister, my best friend rolled into one. We established the Bassler Center because we really wanted to create a central hub for all things BRCA related. The Bassler Center was started in 2012 when we met Mindy and John Gray, who had a specific vision for what things could look like for individuals with BRCA1 and 2 mutations. It's really about planting seeds of hope for a future that is free of these insidious cancers. The Bassler Center has a very unique model for fostering collaboration and catalyzing rapid advances and also reaching out to the public. Since its inception, the Bassler Center has reached out. It hasn't been a solely inwardly looking center, but one that welcomes ideas from around the country and literally around the globe. I think what the Bassler Center represents at Penn is what truly makes a difference in the world. We have scientists who every day don't accept the way the world is, but rather envision a future that is disease-free. If you have a BRCA mutation, you're not only concerned with your care, you're concerned with your children's care, your siblings' care, your parents' care. It is generational. When I started, we would have individuals who had mutations in these genes, but we really couldn't even tell them what it meant and what they could do about it. And now we have concrete ways for them to manage their risks. In 2012, we didn't have specific drugs to target BRCA-related cancers. And now we have FDA approvals for multiple medications for BRCA1 and 2-related breast, ovarian, pancreatic, and prostate cancer. The vision is, what if you could stop cancer before it became cancer? It's going to take years. It's going to take money. But it's a brilliant concept, and we're starting work on it today. Interception is targeting the earliest stages of cancer developing. What you can think about is that cells start to slowly accumulate. And if you can periodically weed those cells, get rid of those cells, you can reset the clock. You might create a situation where someone never develops cancer at all. So some of those strategies might be things like PARP inhibitors. Maybe we could use the immune system, what we call immunointerception, using something like a vaccine. A very exciting moment of truth for the vaccine project was when we vaccinated for the first time healthy individuals who carry the mutations in BRCA1 and 2. As we do the trial in the laboratory, we're already improving the vaccine based on what we're learning. There are several trials that are actively enrolling healthy BRCA1 and 2 mutation carriers to intercept cancers right now. And that's just the beginning. People are going to be able to live much healthier, fuller lives, not have this sense of foreboding about holding this mutation. And that's what our real dream and vision for the Bassler Center is. This mission is everything to us, and we are not stopping until we have results. The ultimate goal is that it doesn't matter if you have a BRCA1 or 2 mutation, that it doesn't impact your risk of cancer, and it doesn't impact your quality of life. So what motivates me is to be able to look at a 25-year-old and tell her, no, there aren't just surgical options. There's other things that you could do. And boy, wouldn't that be a great thing to be able to do.